Today I'm using the Air Manager software from Sim Innovations. You see my monitor there that I'm using as an instrument panel. That's an inexpensive 19 inch monitor. Air Manager is the software that's displaying the instruments on that monitor. So I'm running two computers here actually. I have Air Manager loaded on a laptop and the laptop is connected to the 19 inch monitor. And that was the easiest way for me to get my instrument panel working. And it works really well. Air Manager currently provides nearly 300 gauges, indicators, even switches and such that you can download and install. And that's 300 gauges as of right now. More gauges become available over time, so by the time you see this video, there may be many more for you to choose from. So let's look at an example. I am flying the Robinson R22 right now. Uh, poorly, I might add. <laughs> I'm not the best helicopter pilot but I am using my trusty DIY helicopter collective and that does make it better. So on Air Manager, there is already a collection of gauges for the R22 and I downloaded those. And I also reduced the size of the gauges and added a couple of gauges. For example, I added that fuel gauge because I liked the way it looked, uh, but that's not actually an R22 fuel gauge. Yes, you can customize the gauges. You can mix and match gauges. You can edit the code that operates the gauges. You can create your own gauges. Air Manager works with Flight Simulator X, FSX Steam, X-Plane, Lockheed Prepared. It runs on Windows. It runs on Mac OS X. It even runs on Linux. It works great with touchscreen monitors, but I'm just running a standard cheap monitor right now. If you're interested, I can show you how I included my laptop to run the separate monitor and air manager and how I connected it to my main FSX computer. If you want to see more about that, just leave a thumbs up and a comment and I'll do another video. The software costs 28 euros, but all the gauges are free. You can download as many gauges as you want. Now full disclosure, Sim Innovations gave me Air Manager to try out and that was very nice of them. They did not ask me to do a video, I just volunteered to do this. By the way, I've been making flight simulator videos for over 10 years, and it's very rare that anyone gives me something for free, so yes, I am obviously very grateful. The link to Air Manager from Sim Innovations is in the show notes. 